The aim of this exercise was how do we get from nothing to something as fast as we can. And that's kind of our expertise. It may look like a jumbled box of wires, but this prototype ventilator could be just what healthcare workers need battling coronavirus. Vancouver-based Okalink say they've come up with the design to create a million ventilators in just over two months. And they did it in a week. Uh, this particular prototype, we actually started the design of it on Tuesday, and we started construction of this. Uh, the first parts we started putting together on uh, Wednesday at about noon, and more or less worked for 30 hours straight to get this state by yesterday afternoon. The team managed to work fast by crowdsourcing engineers, doctors and respiratory therapists from across the country to come up with this prototype design. But what they say makes their ambitious goal possible is the fact that it's made of everyday components and 3D printed material. We came up with a ventilator that used as much off-the-shelf componentry or things that we could build ourselves in millions during a pandemic without medical supply chain. We made sure that every part we use, they already make hundreds of millions of, so we can get a couple million of them. And anything that we couldn't find, we've designed in-house. Healthcare systems around the world are struggling to cope with the influx of coronavirus cases. Canada has around 5,000 ventilators, approximately the same number of confirmed cases in the country. But there are concerns supplies will soon run out. Oakling say they have 150 people in Calgary ready to start production. All that's needed is the government to sign off on it. If, if we get federal funding, we know that we can produce these very, very quickly starting on Tuesday and it's going to service the need of every Canadian that is suffering from COVID-19. Lowe is hoping approval times can be waived by Ottawa if it declares a federal state of emergency, something the Prime Minister says he's not ready to use yet. In the meantime, the companies say they're still aiming for their target of 1 million ventilators by May 29th. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.